Hi everyone, it's Mary from Studio Us and I'm bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really cute hedgehog and we're going to be coloring with markers. Obviously, use whatever materials you have and let's get started. So I went ahead and I marked our first shape. We have a big, big oval. Let me walk you through it. Go ahead and mark the top and bottom of this first step. It's pretty large, it's going to take up the majority of our page. Go ahead and also mark how far out each side comes. I gave myself some dotted lines to get that nice oval shape. And once I knew it was right, I drew it in. Go ahead and do that now, and then we can move on to the next step. For this next step, we're going to do another oval inside of this one. This one is definitely smaller. So again, I'm going to mark the top and the bottom and both sides. So I kind of have an idea of how wide it needs to be. And I'm giving myself some dotted lines just to get that shape in there. And once I know it's correct, I'll draw it in and clean up any lines I need to. Go ahead and do that now. All right, next we're going to draw his cute little feet. They're up in the air. I think he's floating on his back in the water. So let's go ahead and block those in now. I'm gonna draw the two uh, front paws first. And it looks like one's going to start right about here. And it's gonna start with a line that goes off of that uh, smaller oval just a little before it comes down and around just like that to a little bump right and then we have a small little bump and one more before it rounds back out now it's important to remember that these little edges here for the paws are rounded right excellent we have one more over here it's it's essentially in the same line as this one uh, but again, it comes off the page. I'm gonna draw that line first, how uh, long I think the top of that paw is. And then I see that it's going to come around and up just like this, pay attention to where it overlaps. And then we have one bump and another one, just like that, perfect. And then two little paws in here. It looks like this one's going to start right about here. So I'm gonna draw that first line on the side before it comes around. And then again, three bumps for his paw. And one more over here. All right, for this next step, we are going to create a, a little uh, half oval that's going to round out those paws, right? So the little bumps we just drew are essentially the fingers, and then we have the palm, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in those ovals. It might be helpful to mark the bottom of where those are. Uh, and also the edge where it meets up with that paw that you just drew. Go ahead and draw it in just like that. Perfect. This part is super fun. So up next, you can see we have little uh, sort of points or spikes all around this inside oval. That's the hedgehog's fur, right? They have those sort of spiky fur. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to make little mountains of the size varies slightly, but it's all connected just like this. It's a little zigzag going all the way around. So go ahead and do that now. All right. Very good. Now, it's important to remember that these little spikes, they don't go over or around those paws, right? They kind of stop at where those paws are. So that's important to remember. And there's a slightly longer or wider uh, point down at the bottom. Let's keep going. All right, same sort of thing. We're going to put little uh, bumps or a little zigzag all around the outside oval now. So. Go ahead and do that. Make sure the size and shape varies slightly, but it doesn't need to match exactly. It'd be pretty difficult to do that. So again, just nice and small. I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna vary that shape just a bit. Go ahead and do that now.
All right, very good. Now that we've done that, we're going to erase away the two ovals that we drew. I'm not going to erase away those ovals just yet, and I'll tell you why. When we finish drawing our hedgehog, we are going to go over all of our lines with our Sharpie. I find it easier when you have uh, sort of detailed lines or, or mini lines uh, congregated together that it's easier when you use your Sharpie to go over just the lines you need to and then erase away those perhaps slightly more difficult uh, lines after the fact. So I'm going to skip that for now. I suggest you guys do too, but if you feel comfortable, go ahead. You're just going to erase those round ovals we made for our first two steps, but let's keep going. All right, we're going to add two uh, little circles inside of our paws, and I am going to erase the inside of those paws where that oval uh, gets inside of there, just so it's nice and clean. But uh, that's what I mean. When I go to erase that line, I'm also gonna lose some of that zigzag. So instead of doing that and cleaning it up right now, I'll do that when I erase everything. All right, so I'm gonna clean up those lines on the paws. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and just double up that oval line we made earlier, just like that. Same thing down here, round it out again. And one more time. Perfect, just like that. Very good. And don't forget when you erase those ovals, make sure you erase everything inside of those pods too. Now we're on the hedgehog's face. This is really exciting. So first I'm going to draw the two little lines that will be his eyes. I see one right here. It's just a little rounded line like this. And another one right here. Perfect. And then just slightly below that, maybe right about here, we have what looks like a little frown, but I know he's not unhappy. That I think that's the bump for his nose. And then we have a little wave. Uh, it goes up, one bump like that, and one more together just like that. Perfect, let's keep going. All right, so now that we've drawn those lines, we can actually put in the details for the face now. So right down here, these two little bumps that we made, this is his mouth. And we're going to have a big nose inside of that space between that one line and then those two little bumps we made. So I gave myself some dotted lines and I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. Perfect, just like that. And then don't forget, we have one more little bump kind of in the middle of these two. That's the bottom of his mouth, very good. And then underneath these two uh, little uh, bumps that we made, those are his eyebrows, we're gonna draw in his eyes. So first draw in a small circle that touches this uh, bump above his nose. And then one more smaller circle off to the upper left hand side. Do the same thing on the other side. Try to keep those eyes the same size. I'm gonna make that one a little bigger. All right, now we're going to add little tiny lines inside of uh, his little fur here. So just go nice and slow all the way around and pay attention to where those small lines are. They're all about the same size, really teeny tiny like this. And they're just kind of pointed off in different directions. Again, to indicate that spiky fur that hedgehogs have. Let's go ahead, go all the way around. All right, very good. And now finally, we're gonna add some little tufts of fur on his tummy. So these little tufts are just like little lowercase w's or little bumps. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and look at where those are. See one over here by his left hand palm. Just like that, little series of bumps. There's another one over here with four little bumps. 
I see one with two and another one with two. All right, very good. And now that we've done all that, we're ready to go over our picture with our Sharpie. So let me explain this one more time. I have my Sharpie here, and you are going to take your Sharpie and you're going to go over all of the lines we drew. But like I said, we wanna get rid of those ovals. This one, that first step, and this one, that second step. All we want in that place are these little uh, spikes, right? These little zigzags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm gonna go over everything I drew, but I'm not going to go over my oval. Instead, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm just gonna go over those zigzags. Once I do that and go over these zigzags as well, then I can take my eraser and get rid of those bigger lines that I needed to get rid of. I just find it easier to erase everything uh, like this with my big pearl eraser once I finish going over with my Sharpie, okay? So go ahead and do that. Then you'll take your eraser, erase away any pencil lines you have left. Then we can start coloring. All right, now that we've gone over our drawing with Sharpie and eraser, we're ready to start coloring. Our hedgehog looks wonderful. What we're going to do first is we're going to color in the water in the background. And there's a few different shades of blue here. So as always, do the best with the materials that you have. Uh, and since I'm using markers, I'm going to use three different shades of blue. We have sort of a royal blue, a lighter blue, and then sort of a greenish bluish color. And I'm going to start by putting the darkest color around my hedgehog, just a little bit, followed by the medium shade of blue and then the light shade of blue, right? We want it to go from dark to light. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get started. All right, very good. Our background looks beautiful. Our hedgehog looks perfectly happy to be floating in that water. And now we can start coloring him. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to use lots of different shades of brown and sort of like a beigey copper color. And I am going to color in the inside of our hedgehog first. So I'm going to use this light uh, sort of tan beige color and I'm going to color in this inside oval of our hedgehog. I'm not going to color in the paws, not yet, um, but I am going to fill in the rest. Keep in mind there are some white highlights on the very points of the fur and uh, I see some around his mouth and nose and along the top of our little bumps. So what I'm going to do is wherever I see that white highlight, I am going to sort of mark around it just like that so I know that I don't go over that uh, highlight, right? I wanna make sure that I keep the highlights where I see them. So take whatever color you're using now, block in those white highlights first uh, by just sort of drawing a duplicate line or a little space there. And then go ahead and fill in that inside oval. All right, very good. Now that we've colored in the center of our hedgehog, we can go ahead and start coloring in our uh, sweet little paws. So 
I have uh, three different shades of brown here. I am going to use this for the um, sort of uh, outside layers of my paw, right? The sort of uh, fingers and the outer palm. I'll use this for the inside palm and this for that shadow. So go ahead and block those in now. I'll start with my lightest color first. And keep in mind, there is a light highlight at the top of those paws. I am going to leave that uh, white for now before I pick a color to uh, when I'm all finished to fill in those highlights. All right, excellent. Those paws look super cute. Now I can go ahead and take this slightly darker brown and fill in those center uh, paw pads. Perfect. And I am going to take this slightly darker brown and I am going to put a shadow on those paw pads. I see them directly uh, underneath that finger or those little uh, paws and then slightly downward on the left hand side of the center of those paws. Perfect, he looks so super cute. I'm going to take the color that I used for the outside of my paws and I'm going to use that for the shadows on the inside oval that we just colored. There aren't a ton of uh, shadows, but I see some around the mouth and the eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and block those in. Very good, those values look excellent. And I'm going to take uh, the color that I used for the inside of those paws, um, just for the little shadow right on top of those paws. Excellent, this looks great so far, we're almost done. So now we can go ahead and color the outside of our hedgehog. This is a very dark, rich brown, and I do see some highlights there as well. So I'm going to use this sort of mahogany color, sort of this reddish brown, and I'm gonna use that for the highlights. I see the highlights around these little lines that we drew, and I see them right along the outer points of our oval. So I'm gonna block those in first, and then I can color in the rest of this area with a regular dark brown. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're almost done. Last but not least, I am going to take a gray and I'm going to do a little highlight along the top of the nose. Now that I've done that, I can take my Sharpie and I can fill in my nose and the eyes. Make sure not to fill in those tiny circles. Those are going to stay white. All right, and that's our project. Thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to send us some of the artwork you've made. We can't wait to see it. Hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe.